Hi, this is Sahada. In our today's session, we are going to see how to install Entity Framework Core in ASP.NET Core MVC application. Let's start with understanding what is Entity Framework Core. Entity Framework Core is an object relational mapper. Major responsibility of ORM tools is to translate the object-oriented code to SQL queries. Let's simplify it further. The framework that we have chosen to build a web application is ASP.NET Core. And the language that we have chosen is C Sharp. C Sharp follows object oriented programming. This is one part of our application. Next, the database that we have chosen is SQL Server. And the language that SQL Server understands is SQL, that is structured query language. And this follows relational style of programming. Here, if you notice, we have two different languages. In the normal scenarios where we don't use ORMs like Entity Framework Core, we had to write SQL queries inside our c -sharp code. Advantage of having Entity Framework Core in your application is you can write all the database access logic in c -sharp and Entity Framework Core will take care of, of converting that logic to SQL. So your job is a lot more easier. If you are thinking, can I work without ORM, then yes, you can work without ORM. Then you have to go for ADO.NET. But in our session, we are not covering ADO.NET. We are working with Entity Framework Core and we will learn all the basics of Entity Framework Core. This is ASP.NET Core MVC application. We do not have Entity Framework installed for this project. But how to verify that? If we had installed Entity Framework Core, then it would have been inside dependencies. Let me expand it. See, we do not have Entity Framework Core here. Now we know we don't have Entity Framework Core. Then how to install it? Installing Entity Framework Core is very easy. Go to Tools. Then here you here you will find NuGet Package Manager. Either you can go for Package Manager Console or you can choose User Interface for NuGet Package Manager. I'll go for user interface. NuGet is a package manager for .NET and NuGet packages are the libraries that you can install and use them in your project. If you want to see installed packages for your project, you can click on install. If there, if there are any packages, then you can find them here. Otherwise, you can click on browse and you can take the help of search box to search for the packages. We are going to install two packages. One is Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore.SQL Server. Other one is Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore.Tools. We are installing SQL Server package because we are going to use SQL Server as our database. If you want to use some other database, then you have to install the database provider for that particular database. Here is the list from MSDN. If you want to use Oracle, then you should go for this Oracle.EntityFrameworkCore as the database provider. If you want to use SQLite, then this is going to be the database provider. I'll keep the link in the description box. Later, you can have a look. Next, we are going to install the package for tools. If we install this, we can execute these commands. And these commands make the complicated process a lot more easier. If we have our model, we can just execute simple command and create a database if you have a database and we can create the models out of them you will see them later in the tutorial here i'll search for entity framework see here i have this here i have microsoft.entity framework code.sql server select this one and here select the project then click on install click ok accept here inside dependencies, now we have packages. If I expand packages, we have this entity framework code.sql server. Again, if I see these are the dependent packages. When we install this package, it has installed all the dependent packages by itself. Now we have to install tools. Here I have the tools package. Again, I'll click on this one. The project is selected. I'll click install. Okay accept we have tools installed we are done with installing the packages our next step is to make the necessary setup to work with a database we have two different approaches to work with database one is code first approach other one is 
database first approach. In code first approach, first we create the model classes, then we create the then out of it we create the database. In case of database first approach, first we create the database and then out of the database we create our model classes. In our project, we are going to implement code first approach. We have chosen entity framework core as ORM for our project. There are different other ORMs available in the market. To name a few, Dapper and Hibernate are the different other ORMs. That's it for today's session. We will continue our discussion on entity framework core in our next session. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.